All right, guys, back again. Um, this is going to be the uh, site for the foreseeable pasture. Um, most things are at a crop now, so must be walkie-talkie going off. Um, yeah, so uh, well, summer's upon us, well, nearly. So uh, we'll be doing a bit of pasture for a while. I uh, just got my first signal, and it is a pigeon ring. Uh, date on that is. 2011, so not an old one. No sign of the pigeon. I'm going to be doing a competition or a draw at the end of uh, this video, so stay tuned until the end, and um, you'll have uh, a good chance to win some Mine Lab goodies. Uh, Tim over at Mine Lab has uh, kindly given me some uh, things to give away. So uh, also just to uh, mark, uh, going past the 500 subscribers. So thank you very much for everybody that subscribes and leaves a comment. Um, right, we'll get back to it and uh, see what else we can find. Right guys, just uh, got a little signal here, and uh, looks like an old Victorian brooch. Copper alloy, but uh, yeah, pin would have been on the back of that. Traces of gold gilt, I think, so it probably look quite nice in this day. Now oh, it's a find. Hi right, guys, back out again today, doing a bit of pasture, uh, a lot of pasture actually. Um, got some new headphones today, which are the uh, Chef Phones CP3 TTs, um, detecting history of Somerset. Um, bought them off uh, chap down there. Look really good. Um, fits really good. Um, really comfortable. Blocks out any uh, external noise. Um, got a little kill switch and a volume on the side, and a nice 4.5 meter length um, coiled cable. So we're going to give these a go today and see how they uh, compare to the uh, the Kos headphones. I'll um, give you a bit of a, an update on that later. Right guys, just got a really sweet um, 1210 um, on the E-Track. And uh, it's just by there. I had a little bit of a glance at it. And I'm pretty sure it's a hammered. Yeah. That's in good condition as well, look at that. Not sure who it is, don't want to give it too much of a rub. Uh, could be an Edward, could be a Henry, not sure, but uh, we'll clean it up later and uh, try and get an idea on it. But that's a uh, super coin, that. Really pleased with that. First one I've had off this field, so hopefully there's a few more. Right guys, next one, uh, not too far away from where I just had that little hammered. Uh, it looks like a uh, bronze pot leg. So that ties in nicely. There you go. Okay, so things are looking up. Right guys, next one, uh, looks like a buckle. Yeah. Yeah, I think a uh, little spectacle buckle. I've not found one like that before, so nice. All right, well we're in the right spot anyway, so let's uh, keep on looking. All right, next one, guys. Gave a belting signal. Um, just a big lump of brass. It's um, I think it's a bottom off a hand grenade. Found another one of these as well. Um, just over the way there. Uh, apparently in the war they used to uh, practice chucking hand grenades over there. So there's quite a bit of shrapnel about down this bottom of the part of the field. So uh, not sure if, uh, what type it is, but I'll see if I can find out and uh, let you know. Right guys, um, just got a 2018 bit of an iffy signal. Um, it's quite deep. Uh, where's my pro pointer? Uh, probably about five inches. Uh, not sure, but it's in this little clod here. And I think we might have a little hammered coin. 
if it is, it'll be the first one we've had off here. Yeah, not going to rub it too much off to put some water on it, but looking at that flan, I would say it's probably Elizabeth and probably a threepence. But we'll give it a wash, um, see if we can get a bit of detail off it. It's quite worn, but it's a hammered, um, hammered number seven and silver number 16 for the year. Right, come back to you in a bit. Alright guys, just put a little bit of water on it. Um, not sure if it's going to be a Charles or Elizabeth, but um, you can see the two dots there. So it's a half groat, two pence. Um, so it's pretty worn. So we'll give it a bit of a better clean when we get back and uh, see if we can put an ID to it. Cool, happy with that. See if there's any more. Right guys, it's uh, competition time uh, for my 60th video and also to uh, mark the passing of 500 subscribers. Uh, I thought I'd run a little draw and um, got some great MineLab prizes which uh, Tim from MineLab has kindly donated. Um, so to be in with a chance of winning, uh, I've got a jar here full of old crusty pennies, half pennies, coppers, farthings. Um, what I need you to do is simply leave a comment um, with your guess as to how many coins are in this jar. Uh, if you go over, uh, you've, your uh, your guess won't be valid, so it'll be the nearest to the amount in the jar uh, without going over. And first place, we'll get a Mine Lab baseball cap, a uh, stress ball, a lovely um, thermos water flask, a mouse mat. A writing pad and two pens plus a uh, mine lab bag. Second prize will get a water bottle, a mouse mat, a stress ball, pad and two pens and third prize will get a bag, stress ball, mouse mat, pad and two pens. So that's all you have to do. Um, just guess how many coins are in there. Um, we're going to be running the competition until uh, June the 14th so it gives you a couple of weeks to enter um, obviously if you can share this on your videos and um, see if we can get a bit of interest and uh, I'll be drawing the winners just shortly after so uh, thanks very much for watching thanks to all my subscribers um, just remember if you want to enter this competition you must be a subscriber to the channel and uh, obviously subscribe publicly as well so I can see you unless I know you and uh, You've been commenting regularly on my videos, so uh, that's all you need to do. Um, good luck, and we shall see the results in a few weeks' time.